Hey guys, it's me, Chrissy Lee. First of all, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you are all enjoying yourself, getting lots of good food and spending time with family. Eric and I got home uh, about an hour ago, maybe. Uh, we went to his mom's. Unfortunately, we didn't get to make it to my mom's, but that's okay. Um, I have been having, we've both been sick, and I've been having a lot of trouble with my asthma. My nebulizer is broken and my inhaler is completely out. Um, so I was in the midst of about a 12 hour asthma attack. Actually it was closer to 16 hours. And when we got his mother's I asked his sisters if they had any um, inhalers or nebulizers or anything. And his sister-in-law brought me in the nebulizer she uses for her daughter. I get really anxious when I'm around crowds of people even if it's people that I enjoy being around. So being in this small little kitchen area with everyone, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I sat down and started taking the nebulizer treatment and I started feeling better. Um, you know, the wheezing was going away and everything. And then my hands started going numb and my feet. And this is something that I've experienced in the past. Usually um, when I'm upset about something, I remember the very first time I felt it was when I was pregnant with my twins. I had just left the doctor's office with an ultrasound where the doctor told me that he thought that the bigger twin was basically killing the little twin because um, he was stealing all of his vitamins and nutrients and the younger twin was getting smaller. His amniotic sac was getting smaller. I remember calling my Nana and crying, being upset, thinking that I was going to lose one of my twins. The doctor even told me, don't be surprised if you don't miscarry. The, the second twin and I remember being on the phone and my hands and my knees and all that going numb and tingly and I was trying to drive and I had to pull over and it's happened a couple other times um, but nothing like what this turned into I had Eric record it while it was happening because I wanted to be able to send the video to my mom she was a nurse for 20 25 years maybe maybe longer and I just didn't understand what was happening. So he recorded it and I'm gonna put the clip in here so you can see what I'm talking about. It scared me. Why? When my chest started getting all tingly because I don't know what would happen if my, the muscles in my chest would tense up. Well, that's why I can call an ambulance if it, if it needs to get, if it gets any worse. But you need to control your breathing get your heart rate back under control how are you feeling right now is it your arms and legs just your arms it's from right now it's from here down and my kneecaps and they're just tensing up and the, there it was my arms and my legs and my rib cage right and I just feel like like everything's clamping and I can't move it. I tried. Right. I can't. Well, I think you'll be all right. You just gotta let that stuff kick in. Here, I got your rings right here. All right, I got this so you can send that to you. So basically, my hands started spasming. Um, I could not move them at all. Eric had to pry my fingers open. Um, I started losing the ability to move my legs, my knees, my arms, and then my diaphragm started spazzing as well. I was having difficulty breathing, and then my shoulders and my neck, and when Eric was trying to talk to me, because I was on the nebulizer and I realized what was happening, and I was waiting for him to finish what he was doing so I could ask him to please help me go outside to the truck, because I knew it's kind of like when I throw up, if other people are around, it makes it worse. And I started feeling like I was hyperventilating because people were starting to notice I was crying. I couldn't speak. I was starting to get clammy and I was sweating. And when everybody started asking me if I was okay, it was just getting worse. So Eric took me into a bedroom and he, you know, pulled my fingers and stuff apart and was massaging them and trying to help the blood flow get back. And it took me about 10, 15 minutes to finally come out of it. And uh, it was scary. It was really scary. 
I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to breathe. And when I talked to my mom, she did tell me that when you have muscle spasms like that, if it does get to your diaphragm, it could you could stop breathing. And she asked Eric if he knew how to do CPR. Because if it ever happened again, he may have to give me CPR until the ambulance gets to me. So that was a very frightening experience, but I'm glad that it's over and I do want to share this with you guys um, in case something like this happens to you. I know how scary it can be when you don't understand what's going on. When I was talking to my mom about it, she was afraid that it had been some kind of seizure or stroke. I looked up on YouTube, um, hands locking up, and the first video I found was of a girl who was having anxiety slash panic attack alone in her car and her hands had done exactly the same thing and, um, and a lot of people were commenting in the comment um, section about how this had happened to them and they didn't know what was going on they thought they were dying they thought that it was a stroke and all this stuff so it's good to it's always good to know that other people have experienced this and that they've found ways of coping with it which basically is just you just have to calm yourself down understand that this is something you can't control and you just have to let go and ride the wave is what they call it because it does kind of feel like it's getting a little better and then it'll start getting worse and the more you think about it and the more you try to fight it the worse it gets I noticed the more that I tried to move my fingers and I couldn't the more they clamped up and the more the rest of my body started feeling like it was going to do that because I just felt completely out of control. It was very terrifying, but I did calm down. I did get to eat. We had an amazing dinner. Eric's sisters did all the cooking. We had some awesome mac and cheese. Very, very juicy and cheesy and butter and all that good stuff. Some great mashed potatoes. The stuffing was amazing. The turkey was so tender and juicy. Green bean casserole. I even tried cranberry sauce which I've never tried before. But, um, and there was lots of kids there and I let them take my phone and run around and do some vlogging for me. And I got some video of them trying to swing off the little rope swing and everything. Um, so I'll put that in. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe you gotta push off and try to lift your knees up. Towards your stomach. Swing. Don't let go. <laughs> wow, Kaylee is so high. I don't know. You should post it today or tomorrow. Christy, is this video going on YouTube? Yeah. No way. Yep. I go for the sun. No, she's boring. She won't have me. Where's your shoes at? Edit that part out. Random hug challenge. All right, so we're gonna go around and hug random people. Let's go. Just filming all kinds of business. You know We're doing a random hug challenge. A random hug challenge. We're doing a random hug challenge. Me, get me out of that. <laughs> the random hug challenge. Who is it? Christy. Hey, stop! I'm about to jump down. The random hug challenge is over. Yep. <laughs> 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 
Like roll like a somersault. Like roll like this. I want to roll in the hay. Have a Okay, but can I have we roll down together? Like holding hands. Oh, really? Y'all gonna break your arms. This is like cool. Easy to land. Oh, what about this? This is how you break your arms. No. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Like? What we're doing is, how about we show everybody how we can do our cartwheels? Okay! No, okay, okay, no, no, don't move. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I show everyone how to do it. I won't put this one. <laughs> That's an awesome cartwheel, KK. <laughs> hey! Uh-oh. Are you doing yoga or something? I really think we're going to die by this today. Mm -hmm. Can, Can I do a, a, a prop flip? Um, Whoosh! Do the, um, Woo! Show puppies. Chrissy, look at her. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're going to say puppies. Come on, Kayla, let's go see puppies. We have three puppies. <laughs> Puppies, bye. Puppies. Here's a dog. Oh, stinks over here. Yeah, we got a lot of junk on our porch. A lot of scrap and stuff. And then Eric brought these mats home from the gym that they were doing. He's going to clean them up and um, put them on the back porch. I know, kitty. What is it? What is it, kitty? He wants to sit on my lap. Oh, oh my goodness. He's actually getting on my lap. He's a little love bug now. My mom sent me pictures of my rooster and hen that I gave to her. I'm going to try to get those in here somewhere too so you can see what they look like while they're growing up. The hen looks a lot like this pullet here. Pullet, is she still considered a pullet? I don't know. <laughs> Do you want some lovin's? You silly kitty. I want some lovin's. <laughs> Toby, Toby. Toby, Toby. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to find some Black Friday deals. I've never been into the Black Friday shopping thing, but I think Eric wants to go. We don't really have much to spend, but if we find something that's really cheap that, that we could get for the kids or something, then I think we'd like to do that. So if we do, I'll bring you guys along with us. Gotta stand in line for the movies and the games. That what was that movie we were watching at Donald's with the different emotions inside the little girl's head? I can't remember what it's called, but I wanted to get it. I'm sure someone around here would know. I thought it would be right here somewhere. guys so it is now Friday right Friday the day after Thanksgiving um, I didn't do an outro yesterday we as you saw did go Black Friday sh shopping sort of it was kind of more like just going to Walmart because there wasn't really any deals like we saw one 24 inch flat screen TV for 98 bucks but they were normally a hundred and 
20 or something like that so that's not really a deal we did get um some food and eric bought me a little onesie i've been wanting because i'm just a big kid it's super comfy but very cheaply made um the zipper's a little aggravating. The plastic scratches my skin. The words are upside down. And I dropped an ash, because I was smoking a cigarette. And I dropped an ash on it, just an ash, and it burned a hole right through it. So, you would think it was cold because I'm wearing this, but it's not. It's actually really, really hot today. Um, but it's comfy. So, I'm gonna wear it. Anyway, I just wanted to come close out the vlog we've got the next three days off I'm starting to feel better still got a lot of congestion um, I've been taking mucinex and um, it's helping to break up a lot of that stuff and get it out it's my favorite thing to take when I've got a chest cold because it really does break everything up um, I've got a couple videos planned hopefully I'll be able to get them done on our little Thanksgiving vacation that they're giving Eric um, I've got a little DIY kind of silly video to do, um, and then a couple other things, but that's not the point in this video. The point in this video is to say, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed food and friends and family and all that good stuff. And maybe you got to go Black Friday shopping and you got some good deals. I hope so. Um, and I guess... I guess that's it. I just wanted to say goodbye and thank you for watching and I love you guys and I'll see you again real soon.